Hey everybody, this is Mike at TKO AGM. Today I'm going to do a quick little uh, video on a modification to the bolt handle that, oddly enough, will allow you a little bit more room to load a pellet. You'll notice that the factory brass um, bolt handle is longer on the back end than this, uh, this custom uh, bolt. And so this one's been modified to reduce the length from the bolt handle to the back end of the bolt. What that does, so here's a gun. Here's a uh, 2240 that has a custom bolt in it with an extended probe. And when the bolt handle's all the way back and the gun is cocked, there's quite a large gap between the bolt handle and the back of the cocking slot. And on this particular gun, uh, loading a, a, a regular Crossman Premier is relatively easy. You can roll it in and it lines up pretty good. Um, but when you're shooting the heavier GSBs, there's very little room. And generally the pellet is going to become cocked and you can't work the pellet in. I mean, if you fiddle around enough, you can get it in there. But you'll know, look, there it goes. So now you can load that pellet. Um, so that is a, a custom bolt handle, and oftentimes I've seen that some of the bolt handles, the extension back here is a little bit too long. Um, on the, uh, on the uh, uh, Airgun Mods breech, we've cut it away so it's a little easier to put. So this is a factory bolt handle, and it's a little bit easier because there's just more room to get it in. So, but if you have a steel breech or a, a custom... Uh, bolt handle with an extended probe, there's, there's just not very much room in the loading port to get that longer pellet in. So what we do is, is we will take the bolt out of the gun. You have to, re you have to disassemble the gun in the breech and get the bolt out. We unscrew the, the bolt or uh, unscrew the bolt handle and then we'll either grind. Uh, we don't grind, but we put it in a lathe and turn it down but uh, you need to find out how much to take off because if you take too much off, the gun won't cock. So what you do is, is you would cock the gun and leave the bolt handle all the way back. I'm not sure you can see that on here. And I use a dial caliper and I'll just measure and I'll try to get close the distance between the, the back of the bolt handle and the slot. So there we have, uh, was it 1.84, 1.84 inches. So what I usually do is I'll lock that measurement and then I'll take the bolt handle <clears throat> and I'll grind it, <clears throat> excuse me. So the, the, the distance is from the, the back end of the, of the threaded hole. And uh, so this one's actually a little bit longer, but I will, I will take this measurement and I will uh, subtract about a 32nd to a 16th of an inch, uh, and I'll mark the bolt uh, probe on the back, and then I'll grind to that point. If you go too far, you won't be able to cock the gun, but all's not lost. You can simply modify your sear, the, the nose of the sear where, the, where the, uh, uh, the hammer hooks, you can just take that back a little bit at a time until the gun will still cock. But, um, you know, it's way better to get it right the first time. Uh, so, so just go slow, measure the distance that you need, subtract about a 32nd to an eighth of an inch and grind that back. And when you do that, it, it gives you so much more room in the loading port to load, uh, to load the pellet. It, it'll give you almost that much, which is probably about the half, half the length of a uh, of a long GSB or a Predator Polymag, <clears throat> which are uh, quite a bit longer pellet. So anyway, I hope that helps out. Uh, it's it's a pretty easy mod. Uh, you just need to go slow and be careful. Um, uh, but it really does enhance the ability to, to to load a pellet, especially if it's cold out and you're wearing gloves and it's and your fingers are cold. Um, so that's that's the mod for that. Uh, all of these guns have some of our airgun mod products on it. Uh, 
Um, the uh, 1377 is the same. Now this one doesn't need much taken off because that gap is, is, is not very much now, but it would still enhance the, the, the space that you have to load a pellet. Uh, same thing on this one. Uh, this is a left-hand breech. Um, that one's pretty close, but you could take off probably a, not quite an eighth of an inch, which really opens these, uh, this breech area up for loading one of the larger pellets. And it's, it's, it's very easy uh, with the, the cutaway of our, of our breech, dropping a pellet in is, is relatively easy. I'm not going to load that right now because this gun is aired up. So anyway, uh, Hope you, had, hope you learned something there. If it helps you out, that's great. Uh, visit TKO22.com and uh, airgunmods.com. And uh, thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you next time.